Good afternoon, YouTube. Welcome to New Bremen, Ohio, and the Miami and the Erie Canal in New Bremen. And here's a little bit of information about it for you. This is called Lock One Park. So this is some really interesting stuff in love and memory of Donald L. Doc Rival right here. This is out on the corner of US 66 and and uh, Ohio Route 66 and Ohio State Route 274. So this is a really cool and beautiful area right here that's definitely very, very unique right here about this whole area and the Miami and the Erie Canal in this in this small quaint little sleepy little town that's so I always enjoy beautiful architecture around so I always enjoy seeing and sharing these types of places with you guys definitely a, a side of time that definitely should be known but how are you guys doing here good Hi. how are you doing pretty good here Oh, Lock Keeper's house. That would have been that right there, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice spot. So this is a little bit of information about the Miami and the Erie Canal through New Bremen, Ohio. This is Lock one park right through here and the lock keeper's house is right over there I do not think that is open unfortunately but here's a little bit of history about lock one right here construction of the canal. Another really good place where there's a lot of good history of the canals and of course I covered that in videos all oh, about a month, about a month or two ago. The Johnston Historical Firm in Piqua, Ohio. Right here, caution, watch your steps so they obviously want people to be careful if they do go in here. Actually, it's open from the other. Actually, it actually it is open from that side. But there's that house right there. So this is the Lock One Park. So this is definitely some really unique and very interesting history here in. New Bremen, Ohio, as well as history for just the whole state and the whole area. It's always great, you know, learning about... That looks fairly dry. It looks like a lot of leaves and litter. Or a little bit of leaves and litter right there. So this is a really beautiful area. I'm going to do a couple videos of New Bremen as well. I want to give it justice too. I did, a, I did probably about five or six down in, down in Minster. This bridge right here, I, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a name for it. Actually, it's going to show right there at the end. But 
Unfortunately, the visitor center is not open today on the canal, or if it is, it's too late. But the videos I did of Johnston Farm a while back would be a really good reference point for a lot of the canal history. When I went up to Johnston Farm at Piqua a couple months ago, I really enjoyed that and got lots of extensive footage of that. <laughs> View of the center of the town. I'm going to continue on with this with this video right here so there's the area I was just on top of right there so this is a really beautiful part of of Ohio that you just don't get to see unless you actually live up here or you come up here as a little tourist like I have or I don't know if I I guess I consider myself a little bit of a tourist because I live down in Dayton as you guys know but the lot keepers house that's right over there yeah this is a really a uh, spectacular little area right here caution watch your step yep you gotta Yep, you gotta watch it right here. This 7,000 pound gate is not movable, thankfully. Eagle Scout and Project. Man, that looks like this, some of this was just done this year. Yep, so they are closed today. It's a little bit late in the day when I got here, but maybe I might visit it, you know, some other time, possibly. Actually, this signifies the bike route to lock two, so I'm gonna have a look at that. I'm gonna have a look at that as well here in a little bit. So yeah, so this is some really great history in this small town. Beautiful view of the canal right here and this bridge right here. Constructed in 1864, you guys probably can't see this very well. This is the oldest cast iron bowstring girder bridge in Ohio. Originally part of a three-span structure over the Auglaize River in Wapakoneta. This, the bridge was moved to Moulton Angle Road north of New Knoxville, which is just east of here in 1894 in 1884, through the effects of local citizens and businesses, the bridge was brought to New Bremen, where it was restored and placed over the Miami and Erie Canal. It was built by David H. Morrison, founder of Columbia Bridge Works in Dayton. So yeah, this is some really interesting history right here. And look, we even got a little bike route that even points the way to lock two so beautiful view of the Miami and the Erie Canal going down that way yeah this 
that sign was on the other side, but I'll let you guys see this one here because you guys can probably see that the other one was in the sunlight. Lormy Summit. Looks like there's a little bit of a walkway and bike path through town. Beautiful view of of the canal looking south. This is a towpath that or a little recreation trail. Lots of spider webs on the thing. But yeah, this is really this is really beautiful. Man, the amount of spider webs on this thing. Boy, the spiders love this thing. But this is a really gorgeous day right here. This is a really beautiful park. Lock One Park located in downtown New Bremen, Ohio in a beautiful small town. <laughs> Thankfully I got a couple hours of daylight left for for videos. Yet it's around it's around 5:30 right here, but that's it for this one YouTube from beautiful Lock 1 Park in New Bremen, Ohio.